Well, today you join us at Spitfire Lake. It is a lovely little lake, about an acre in size. About 40 to 50 catfish in here or so. Probably around, say, 90, 100 carp. No, probably a bit less than that. Probably less. 60 carp, 50 normal and 10 grassies. Um, the carp go to 35, grassy to 34, and then the cats to about 50, 52. Um, so there's plenty of fish for us to, to have a go at. I um, just had a little bit of a knock, probably win though. But yeah, we've been here a few hours now. Um, not had any bites yet, although the car passed board and we're seeing them splash around on the top. Uh, not sure what the cats are up to because we've not really seen any action from those. No. But it's gonna, the wind's going to drop tonight and we're just hoping that that's going to turn the fishing on. and see another fish out over there. Yeah, we've certainly seen a few showing. Um, the thing I like about this lake as well, Ash, is it's one of those lakes where it's got probably, what, four or five swims on it? But the minute you've got two people on it that go together, they shut the lake so that you've got the lake to yourself. Um, and you just basically have to get the um, uh, get your ticket uh, from Johnston Ross over in Hoddesdon. Good value um, as well, isn't it? It's <coughs> two of us is how much again? Um, during the week, it's twenty pound uh, for twenty four hours, which is brilliant um, value for any anyone. It's mad, especially when you think of some of the size of the fish that are in here. Um, and whether it's easy or not, I don't know. We won't know till we find out. But um, from my perspective. 20 quid for a full day's fishing uh, on a lake that um, is closed off specifically for you um, I think is, is an awesome price um, it's just whether or not we can catch a few fish out of here um, we've, like I say we've seen them so let's just hope we have a few bites but yeah you book at Johnson Ross in Hoddesdon um, and 20 quid during the week 25 pound at weekends bargain just can't beat it can't can you? And it's, it is a, it is a lovely little lake, and it's not too bad on weed. It's there's a, there's a few weed beds, but even then it's not thick weed. You can pull straight through it when you've got a fish on, so there's no worry um, of losing fish at all. Oh, my liner. Yeah. So there's fish about to start to move, so we'll see what happens, and hopefully we'll pick something up tonight. Right, I'm just gonna um, drop some uh, bait on my sort of carpy line i mean it could be a carp line it could be a cat line but i'm fishing with a boilie and a and a piece of corn um and i've made a mix of hemp pellet sweet corn and crushed up boilies and a couple of like full boilies in there as well uh it's only probably four or five foot out from this um willow tree there's a nice clear patch checked it with a um with a lead and it comes up with no weed on it or anything so um, hopefully it's a, a nice area for the, the carp or cats to feed on, so let's give it a go. That's a little bit in there. Put the rest in later tonight, but um, hopefully it should uh, give us one or two fish with any luck. Just had a screaming run and got smashed up, which really annoyed me, but that's life. And that's the first part we've had so far, but I've got a feeling it's going to kick off. Well, we've waited and waited and waited. Uh, got smashed up once and then just talking to Debs on the phone and all of a sudden boom and it went ripping off didn't it absolutely ripped off now we've got quite a bit of weed in this lake but not what I'd call nasty weed it's quite I'll tell you what though she's good fish this And you know something? That's normal two 12 mil pellet with a bag that's done that. It doesn't seem to matter where we go, that always seems to do the trick. But, uh, I think this is a catfish. 
did go steaming off, didn't it? <laughs> well, if it's not a catfish, it's a very, 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 very big carp because it's very heavy. Although I don't know whether there's any weed on it yet because it could have gone through a load of weed. Yeah. Nothing better than that whistle of the line. There's his tail. Still didn't see him. Oh, that's a beast of a cat. That's an absolute beast of a catfish. <laughs> oh, God, its head. Oh, what a gorgeous creature. Did you see how big its head was? It's miles away from that. Built like bricks, I tell ya. It's heavy. It's a good 30, this is. I said, this is heavy. It's a good 30, this is. It's an absolute chunk. Look at his head. Oh, it's very rare for it to go in the net first time like that. That is a beast, I'm telling you. That is an absolute beastie. Well, First fish ever out of Spitfire is this beautiful lump with a funny sort of like little bulb. See, it's like a little football on its side. Uh, weighing in at 35 pound 10 ounces. What a gorgeous creature. I mean, it's fairly short. It's fairly short, but it just looks Amazing. I can't believe that little bump it's got just there. I'd love to know what that is. It's almost like it's got a little kink in its in its body. But believe me, that kink in its body didn't stop it fighting any. What a creature. I love these things. Absolutely love them. 35 tent. That is a beautiful fish. Cracking fish. What a start. And it's only just six o'clock in the evening, so We've got a few to go. Well done, Spitfire. Fantastic. Absolutely screaming run. 17 pound, three ounce carp, uh, a whole ounce lighter than my current carp PB. She's quite a dumpy little old warrior. I thought you said that before, I got told off. Yeah, quite, quite thick. 
very welcome creature in the middle of the night. Really? Yeah, because it, well, it's not fishing it's not off, is it? So, so 17 pound mirror. Bags of blank. It does, and you know, that's a pretty stunning fish to, to save the blank. That's a real old <coughs> warrior looking carp. Every fish is beautiful in their own way. Right, let's pop it back. Well, the sun's out now. It's absolutely scorching, and it's time to pack everything up. So here we are, packing everything up. It has fished really hard for us, but then we've seen a lot of carp spawning on the top. Uh, we've seen one or two cattails just mooching, flash, flapping about, and mooching. But they're not really on it, so it's a shame. But that's that's how it goes. But we've both had um, a really nice fish each. Yeah, Stunning yeah. colours on them. Absolutely gorgeous fish. And what I'd say, more than anything, is signs are there's a lot of lot of fish in here, um, and I think you just need to hit it on a day when when they're ready for it, really. Um, and you know, once the spawning's over, another couple of weeks, they'll probably get their heads down, and and you know, we'd have a few more. But I've got to say it for tranquility and peace and quiet out of the way. And for forty quid for two and people. Forty quid for two people. And, and they shut the lake for you. I just don't think, you know, you can, could... Couldn't be a better place really, could you? You couldn't, it's stunning. And, you know, we, we sat together obviously because we were filming, but we might have even sat in different pegs then. There's, and, there's and four, spread it out there's bit, four but... swims on the lake. You've got, there's this one here. Um, there's one in each corner really, so yeah. you, you don't have to fish to the other side of the lake. It's a small lake, so you've got to be quiet obviously, but you can just choose any swim and drop in amongst the there's, clear spots in the weed beds. Yeah, there's a few weed beds, and as long as you find those gaps, um, I think, you know, the, the fish are there. And when you hook them, it's like grass. I don't know if there's still a bit laying around, but it's just like a piece of grass. So it yeah, it's comes very, straight very thin through. It comes, we've yeah. not had no problems. We've, we've lost no tackle on it, and we've been right through it. So it just goes to show how light the weed is. So I've got absolutely no concern with it. I think it's been a stunning day. Not bad for... 24 hours, two fish admittedly, we probably could have had more, we had a few liners didn't we? Yeah, just Which think the fish are about and just not, not too interested in the food at the moment, but then, That'll come. of course if you know about catfish you'll know how funny they feed. <laughs> <laughs> they yes. can go from switched off and not feeding, um, and they can go absolutely ballistic. But there is some lovely fish in here and the bailiffs told us that there's an albino, so that would be one to look That'll out for, mine. wouldn't it? That'll be mine. <laughs> It's got my name on it. That's got Andy written across the top of it. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> but uh, I can't wait to get back down. To be fair, but our next trips, probably together, is going to be Charlie's for Catfish Part Catfish Three. Catfish Part Three, isn't it? Yeah, so it's quite a way off yet. Yeah, um, it's about six I'm not weeks. Sure, not sure when it's going to be. Well, hopefully it'll be August when we said. Yeah. Well, we've all got to get time off work at the same time. Yeah, that's the boring part of life isn't it yeah all have to work all our days off are on different days unfortunately but we'll but get there and um uh hopefully we'll find catfish on it then but right. i think i'll be fishing this a few times before we do that yeah so look out for you'd the have to do a little Facebook, phone yeah. blog if you can a phone blog yeah hello <laughs> yeah well thanks again ash it's all right glad you came to come down um Look forward to seeing you again next time. Yeah, but meantime for me it's going to be barbel, tench possibly. We'll see what happens in the next few weeks. Now the river season's open again, so that'll be interesting. Yeah, I'll be back to the brink next week probably. You've yeah. done that. Oh no, <laughs> been there, done that, but still want to do it again. It's what keeps us going, isn't it? It is. Variety is a spice. Absolutely. So, thanks for watching. Sorry it's been a short video and we haven't had time to show you some of the other fish in there. They are stunning fish. But I'm sure at some point, whether it be this year or next year, I will be down again to fish with Andy. And I just can't wait to come down again. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon.